Now, uh, it is about that time, George. For what? UFC 158, my friend. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you know where we're going to start at? Know where we're going to kick this shit off? Canada. Canada, your favorite place with your favorite champions. Yeah. But we're going to kick My it off with some champion, lightweights. Right. <laughs> lightweights, guys. Uh, Mike Ricci versus Colin Fletcher. Okay. And these guys are going to be meeting. Um, first of all, I got to say, Canadian, or for all you Canadian fans, everything, your boy Mike Ricci probably wants to look to get consistent because uh, he is he's lost, what, three of his last five? Yeah, he's not, it's not, yeah, not looking good. At least he gets to fight in his own backyard, sleep in his own bed, eat a home cooked meal. Maybe that'll help him break out of this slump, but, uh, yeah. With, with you the know, way, I, with the way, with Dana White looking to axe fighters and no one from this yeah. latest card getting axed. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm seeing some names on here. And that's the unfortunate thing. Now I'm looking at these UFC cards seeing, like, if you don't perform, you're getting cut. If you don't perform, you're getting cut. Like, that's unfortunate, but that's the well, way I'm it, looking at things. Yeah, and especially when you look at an event like UFC on Fuel TV 8, which we covered just, you know, last week, where you saw Stan and Silva just try to kill each other, you know? Right. People could, like, that's the kind, that's the kind of shit people want to see, you right. know? Right. It's the same, it's, dude, it's the NASCAR effect. People go to NASCAR to watch hillbillies get drunk and drive around a track and crash into shit. It's like destruction derby, or demolition derby, but faster. Right. Now, if you guys recall, Ricci was defeated by Colton Smith via unanimous decision on, uh, back in December, uh, for Ultimate Fighter, uh, Team Carmen, Carwin versus, uh, Team Nelson finale. And, uh, he's got some knockout power. The kids showed it in that, in that, in that, uh, in Tough 16. Um, cause Can he I actually address something knockout. real quick? Yes. For all you people who are going to sit here and look at this video and watch our predictions and then tell us in a week or two that all of our predictions suck, do you understand that fighting is a 50-50 shot? I don't give a it's shit a how good you are or how good your opponent is. When you walk in, you have a 50% chance of winning. It is. And, you know, and, and if, you know, you got got to remember, too, if George and I knew the fucking outcome. We wouldn't be sitting here doing this shit. No, we would be up in Vegas living. <laughs> Yeah, so we just fucking you relax know? with you. Don't know what you're talking about because you picked the wrong. You guys, fighter. all your fucking answers are fucking wrong. Suck a dick. But anyway, uh, anyway, if you guys get him back to the fight, who are you taking <sighs> to win the fight? More importantly, <sighs> I'm going to go with Fletcher. I think I think Richie gonna... snaps out of this uh, this this little skid he's on, and I think he's uh -huh. about to pick up his. I think he's about to pick up a win and knock Fletcher out. <laughs> Right. I, I I think if this is the thing, I think if he tries to stand and bang with uh, Ricci, I think he will go to sleep. I think you're going to be exactly right. But I think if he fights a methodical fight, um, I think he'll win the fight. You well, know? it sounds like a fight I'll be snoring through. Now, a more f a fight that more people are probably looking forward to or going to be more tuned in to watch are going to be the welterweights. And that's going to be Jake Ellenberger, who's going to be facing UFC veteran and basically coming back to UFC Nate Marquardt. Yeah, Nate Marquardt um, looked sharp at 170 even though he did just lose his last fight at 170. Right. You know, and it, it, it you know it was. He he did good. He won the strike force belt and then he lost it to uh, who was it? Uh I want uh, to Tarek say, Safety. Yeah, Safety. Tarek Safety. And uh but uh this is an interesting matchup um because both of these guys have been a little bit hit or miss lately. You know what I mean? And uh Vegas has Ellenberger as the favorite. And, uh, and you um, know what? I'm always uh -huh. betting on black, so I'm betting on Ellenberger. I'm right with you. I'm going to have to go with what Vegas is saying, and I'm going to have to bet with Ellenberger because I think his ability to mix up his hands and, and, you know, mix it up with his hands and his wrestling and everything, I think that could kind of, he could dictate the pace of the fight. Right. And no, Nate Marquardt has a problem losing decisions. Here's a question right? I have for you. Is Dana right. White going to hold a grudge to the point where if Mark Quar loses this fight, he just outrightly cuts him? Um, I mean, he could. You know, I mean, I think at Dana White at this point in time, he's looking at okay, I've got to have the most exciting crop of fighters. Yeah, I can tell you right now, if, if Mark if Mark War does not show up and put on a show, yeah, bye bye. Yeah, he can't. I mean, you know, in Ellenberg, somebody can can knock your ass out. So I mean, right. It could be it could be fireworks. I think if Nate Marquardt comes out and comes across that fucking octagon and attacks Jake Ellenberger, which can be dangerous, but if he starts throwing those kicks and uses his arsenal of strikes against Ellenberger, I think it'd be very interesting, and it'll keep both of them will have a job. Right. I think I, if he I lets got Jake Ellenberger for the win and Marquardt for the cut. 
You got that? <laughs> is that what you're going with? Yep. Yeah, and you know what? And I'm, I, I mean, unfortunately, <laughs> I'm going to have to agree with you. I think that might be what it boils down to. Comical, brash, and yeah, sometimes politically incorrect. The Uncut Sports Show. Non-traditional sports coverage delivered the way you like it by your uncensored co-hosts, Kevin White and George Bedford.